Here are the top 10 lies. Oh, hang on. Sorry, force of habit. Here are the top 10 lies told to you by TV licensing. You can be caught watching TV by a detector van. No, you can't. Although there were some vans with TV licensing or detector van written on them, they never really existed and it wasn't really possible to tell what you were watching. Now, in the history of the prosecutions for TV licensing, no one has ever been prosecuted with evidence given by a detector van. So that tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? If they had these vans, why would they not use the evidence from them? If you fail to get in touch, you risk prosecution. Now, on some of the letters they send out, they try and be as threatening as possible. And they say, if you don't talk to us, you risk prosecution. Utter nonsense. If you want to speak to these people, it's completely optional. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. They're just trying to scare you. You must respond to our letters. Again, it's completely optional. All they're trying to do is scare good people like you and me into paying for a service that we may not need. So don't be scared by their letters. They're completely optional if you want to talk to them. If you don't, get rid of the letters, throw them in a the bin, shred them, compost them, burn them, whatever you want to do, just do that. We may visit you to check whether you need a license or not. Now, if you've declared you don't need a license or if you're just blanking them, you may very well get a visit from the people called the goons. Now, these people will try and get access to your property. Their only job in life is to sell you a license or get you a fine for not having a license. So they need to get into your property to convince you that you need a license, but they have no right to. So the standard advice for this is just close the door. So be polite, get the door closed. Do not sign anything that they ask you to sign. Just shut the door. You, they don't need to enter your house. You don't need to prove anything to them. Get the door closed. TV licensing may imply or even clearly say, I'm not from TV licensing. Now, when the goons come at your door, they might say, I'm not from TV licensing, or just imply it. But in fact, their charter states that they must clearly identify themselves. So this is probably just a tactic to get access to your property so they can try and sell you a license. These guys are sales agents, that's their job. And when was the last time you let a sales agent who randomly knocked on your door into your house? So get the door shut, don't sign anything, don't talk to them. TV licensing consistently say you may be fined up to a thousand pounds. In reality, the average fine is about 176 quid, but the giving out of the fines is a very rare thing indeed. Not that they want you to know that, they want you to think they're fining people all over the shop so that you'd be scared enough to pay for a TV license. Don't worry about it. On the TV licensing website, they state if you use Amazon Prime or Now TV or YouTube, you need a TV license. Now they've worded this in a way to scare normal people into paying for a license they may not need. If you read it carefully, it does say that if you watch anything live on these services, you need a TV license. But many people don't read it carefully. So they just see, oh no, Amazon Prime, Now TV, they've covered it, now I can't go license free. Don't worry. You can watch live TV on Now TV especially, but there are some live sports and things on Amazon Prime as well. But if you don't use that service, you don't need a TV license. So you can use Now TV all you want, you can use Netflix, Amazon Prime, all you want. Don't worry. As long as you don't use the live features, they're just trying to scare you into paying for a license. If you own a TV and you watch stuff on it, then you have to have a TV license. Now, it doesn't actually state this on the TV license website, but it doesn't actually tell you it's not true either. Now, back in the day, you may have had to have a TV license if you owned a TV. That is not the case anymore. The license is based on what you use your equipment to do. So if you don't watch live TV or use BBC iPlayer, you don't need a TV license. No problem. Have as many TVs as you want. You can have thousands of TVs in your house. The license is based on what you use those TVs for. TV licensing is not an entity in itself. That's right, TV licensing is just a brand name from the BBC. The BBC have full and total control over TV licensing. They employ a third party company called Capita 
to police it and to enforce it. But it's all BBC. You can't film me without my permission. Now, many people who get visits from the goons do like to film them. And in many ways, it's not a bad idea for your own security and your own protection to show that they're not trying to fit you up. But many people do try and have an argument on their doorsteps so out and put it on YouTube. I don't agree with that part of it, okay? But the goons will say to you if you start filming, you can't film me without my permission. This is utter nonsense. If they're standing on your property, you have every right to film them. They can't say no. But even if your front door walks straight out onto the pavement, for instance, and they're standing on the public street, you can still film them without their permission. It's allowed to film people on a public street without permission. So don't worry about it. If you want to record it for your own safety and security to show you're not getting fit up or anything, then you film it and you don't worry about what they say about it, all right? So just a quick video today. That was the top 10 lies told by TV licensing. Do you have any others? If you do, leave them in the comments below and maybe we'll do a follow-up to this video as well. Thanks for watching.